So, all this while spending the so-called Mubat ally, he, he has been quiet. I do understand that this matter is a sensitive one and it is not easy. You have to be in the shoes to understand how it feels. But regardless, regardless, what can't you do for your friend? What is it that you don't want to do for your friend? That is the question. Spending told us some stories that a lot of people were expecting that he was going to do more. Is the guy that called the nurse, according to the story, is the one that introduced the nurse to Mubad and Wuwa. Some have said it is not true. There is no nurse, no nurse. There is nothing like that. There is no nurse. No, no nurse. Nothing. Well, this seems to be a U-turn. They are no longer looking into the direction of Prime Boy anymore. Of course, uh, if Prime Boy is dragged to court, they cannot win. It's not possible. For them to win in court, they have to show evidence. You just don't um, take people to jail on assumptions. You cannot just assume that there was a fight and Mobad bled profusely and that as Mobad bled profusely, uh, the profuse, uh, profuse, that that profuse uh, is in the hair. No, you have to show evidence of how Mobad bled, where he bled, and this has to be connected to the toxicology and, in fact, majorly the autopsy report. Physical examination definitely would have sorted this out, right? But what we got is uh, inconclusive and there was never anywhere in that autopsy report that points to any major injury that could have resulted into Mubat's pie. They said he had just a small, even one confirmed it, that it was just a small thing that uh, they used the uh, cotton wool to just uh, clean it, it's just a scratch. And that it was nothing. It wasn't really anything for concern. You know, nothing for, you know, there's nothing. She confirmed that part of it. So, so since they cannot nail Prime Boy using any evidence, they have decided to shift their attention to... <laughs> they have shifted it to spending. According to Punch newspaper, spending and the nurse will be going down. They'll be dragged to court. In fact, right now, before the end of the inquest, they are already dragging spending and the nurse to court. They want to quickly put an end to this old thing. They want to put someone in prison. They want it to end like now. They want everything to come to and end like right now and the best way for them to achieve this is to put someone in jail now spelling is crying out say please help me i have explained i have said all that i know now what do, what, what what does he know he said apart from me and others not seeing the fight but we saw that there was a fight between war that I had to hold the baby, Mobad and Wuwa, to fight him. Okay. Now, the other part is uh, when they got home. According to his narration, uh, you know, when we got home, Mobad slept and I was downstairs. Adura was upstairs and uh, they were having arguments. Mobad, Wuwa. So, eventually, when Wuwa, uh, she came down. Then I went up, I went inside, I went in between. All the story together that she presented, I mean, that we won't presented, 
and spend it presented. All of those stories are, you know, they're not really making sense. They're not making sense. Well, we listen to all that he has to say. Then all of a sudden, this dude disappeared. Don't forget that the police tagged him accomplice. That's what the police are calling him. That he's an accomplice. Enabler. <laughs> the profusely police officers. So they said that uh, this guy is an accomplice and he has to be dealt with accordingly. That he's the one that called the nurse. Questions have been asked. How is calling a nurse when you where, where your friend is about to like your friend is going through pain how does calling a nurse how does it like how do you become an accomplice for that people are asking how do you become an accomplice but the reason why spending is not being um looked kindly upon now is because of the role of spending spending was unwilling to assist to get justice he felt within himself ah there's nothing that will be done to me ah for me my own case is different my case is too different my own case is too different what did i do i didn't do nothing i only care i only called nurse it was more that uh and more bad that uh, accepted according to him that uh, uh mobad blah 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 so he left so Bobad came down and said, are you part of those that fought me? And I said, no, I am not part of those that fought you. And then he, he left. And that's the end of it. Uh, so he felt that was it. L let me go to um, what Punch newspaper is saying. I'm just going to summarize it uh, because we all know what has been happening. Ayobami Sodik, a.k.a. Spenny, who is an ally of the late music star, Ilerio Lualoba, a.k.a. Mobad, has raised the alarm over alleged plots to prosecute him over the singer's demise. Spending legal counsel, Banajor, Banajor and co, represented by Stephen A. E. Mowa, in a statement on Tuesday obtained by Punch Metro. Um, well, let's leave that part of it. According to A. E. Mowa, um, the decision to prosecute him while the corona inquest is ongoing will amount to a travesty. It stated that the evidence presented by, by Sodika at the inquest was sufficient to exonerate him from any liability from for the unfortunate demise of Mobad. The statement reads, on 26 September 2023, the Lagos State Government, through the Office of the Chief Corona, initiated a corona inquest into the sudden demise of Ilerio Lua Imole Ayo, aka Mobad, in line with Section 14 and 15 of the Corona System Law of Lagos State. During the inquest, Ayobami Sadiq attended and presented clear evidence and he was equally cross-examined extensively without loss of credibility. The evidence presented so far at the inquest is sufficient to exonerate him from any liability for the unfortunate demise of Mubad. The findings of the corona inquest are very crucial in determining the cause of death, which will aid in deciding any subsequent legal proceedings. Deciding to prosecute based on incomplete facts and evidence is premature and unjustified. This not only risks unfair charges, but also undermines the integrity of the legal system. While the desire to swift for swift justice is understandable, rushing to prosecute before the inquest concludes would undermine the fairness of the process. Premature prosecution could result in wrongful charges or conflicting conclusions, potentially damaging public trust in the justice system. Spenning's lawyer kept emphasizing on the importance of completing the inquest to determine the cause of the demise of Mubad. <laughs> you are going to jail, Spending. You refuse to help. Yeah, you refuse to help. So if you think your lawyer will help you get out of this, well, let's hope that he is able to do that. But from what I am saying, you are in for a long time. You go collect. You're your own, Oga. You're your own. You refuse to support Justice for Mobad. You refuse to be part of Justice for Mobad. You refuse to add value 
So it's just this for both part. Your talk was so glib. Talk, talk, talk. Talk anyhow. Look, there was only any come out from the mouth of this guy. If you see the way he spoke then, eh, you know, me, blah, blah, blah. I am that. Eh, you guys don't even know anything. Were you guys there? Yeah, we are, we, we are not there. You, you are there. You're your own. Oh. You go collect. You're on your own. There's no way this will not touch you. It will touch you badly. It will touch you because if you had assisted, if you had assisted, it would have been this way. You didn't assist. You don't want to say nothing. The day spending came to talk on a platform, immediately it got to the point where spending was going to, was supposed to demystify the mystery. All of a sudden, I think he did it himself. Or maybe someone did it. I don't know. But all of a sudden, suddenly, the voice of spending became muffed. You know what I mean? We could not hear him anymore. Then he cut off. And that was the end of it. Obviously, that is not, uh, that's not something that was done without his knowledge. He knew what he was going to do. Like, when the serious question starts, I'm going to press something on my phone. My voice is going to be muffed, and that will be the end of it. He did it. But now, Wong and a group of wickedness, they have decided that uh, for one to be free, spending and not prime boy anymore, it is now spending. Spending. Now you go collect. You you will reap from where you sold. You sold, uh, you know, betrayal. If you had opened your mouth to speak clearly alongside Prime Boy, you would have known who is saying the truth and who is lying. But you refused. You didn't want to say anything to you. Ah, me, I didn't do anything. I was not in the house. I don't know anybody. But now they say that you are the one that is going to jail. With the nurse. Once you go to jail with the nurse, Wuwa will be free. Isn't it? Even though Wuwa is not going to hear it, anything. But Wuwa will be free. Wuwa will be free. The government will say, eh, we have uh, jailed. We have jailed who we need to jail. And that's the end of it. That's what the government is going to say. That we have jailed who we need to jail. And that is what you deserve because you are not you you, you behaved so badly. You, you your 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 behavior is is discouraging. That's why no one is interested in helping. After all, after all, you guys, we don't even know who is who anymore. You guys are criminals. You guys are criminals. We don't know who is who anymore. Spending is going down for the demise of mobile alongside the nurse.